kufika mwaka wa 2022 tutakuwa na wapigaji kura karibu milioni moja. Na sisi zote tukishikamana hivi hakuna mtu anaweza kusimama mbele yetu. Siaso wewe silala hadi wakupee kura ukiwa kwa kitanda. Hata saa hii vile tunasema hivi Runda go to Uganda Lodwa eh mwenda baje hapo kwa kitanda na rada. Na hii miaka yote tangu tupate uhuru tutakuwa na mtu akakameka pale pale. And we can only do this by being united being one imesa ya macheni ni vuruga na mambo mingi ya masomo leo nataka niwaambie mchana mchana mimi nimerudi kwa shule kutafuta hiyo makaratasi wanasema hivi mimi najitolea kufanyanga tuition jioni pole 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 division pole 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 tuhakikishe tuhakikishe kwamba Rashid kifika 2022 hako na hako na degree hako na degree hako na kila kitu sababu kizungu anajua kuongea si ndio imesa ya macheni ah uh, oyo mimi mwenyeresi wishinga na chef chapendo tv shaba desh hashi desh la isho kuliza macheni kif kapendo mbare onjero mlaino kulu nyanga yosi wa kaweza mwanzo mwitala ne kutiri rango ko sempre ndi ebindi ne ebindi serikali bana nganga godfrey achaz mukoto holange kazi kunjira irulaka kamega hotewe buye <coughs> ne holaye kazi ya boda boda kuchenga bandu ne mbera motawo nabo nilisa motawo ne mbera mmaye ne tofauti tofauti mama mutembe mbesaka tofauti tofauti so shindi shunya kisanga ahaswa ni insurance namba ibima ibima yo ibima yo bona ngwa enyanga khalachi uh, ibima ama khaleche uh, ibima yoko yoko cheza ko chenga bandu yoko lenda ipike peke na nda ko sebene so no enze ibima e serikali elombi ko ba maisha ka bena matinyo sana chira khala ka ibime e na nda mapato ke iru no mbabu nyole de wifu nubutititi sana so ibime e lombanga maisha ko ba matinyo sana chira shena ko nyola mangonda ko kosi lala no khala ka ibime yo nyola nga nubutinyo sana so ko se ko nyakhananga na mapato ke rubanda bi piki piki na matititi na no enze piki piki ye unyolange nange ya handika vijana ba babuha banyeshe na babuha ba lo ya handika babuha banyeshe ya pungusa buhubi ya pungusa bando bukora bando vijana khumene ka bindi bya bando so inyolange bo halifu bwa pungusa shere shene a piki piki ya handika bando so no lomba serikali lomba a uh, ibime ya ba indito sana ya rahu mangondo manyeshe kala bida bijana binyeshe bero le khunjira be kalushengo lwe be kalukha engo kabita banango bui walifu busa khwendria bui busa khwendria khusala ngati nango ni sai serikali ni mbombe serikali nango ichetsu ko pungusa ibime ebe mangondo matititi shembola ngi hulitso tawe lakini lombe mangondo kabe matititi ili bijana binyeshe be khala chi ibime yeneye na ni ya khala kiru nango khwendria khole kasi bulayi bananga anton dikao kola poda poda khorula rambe khongelea webuye kakameka yenyewe bima ye bara ikolo saiti khalo khoke khoke nyale no khala ke gore bima ye kila no khokeliza otofira go mangondo kana ka bara bara ikolo saiti na mangondo kana shika le khongelata kino go khomba nga serikali pongos go mangondo ako Erako ma shewa ngo shire ha se shekho nyala ho nyalitsa lakini ne ka ka nyala ka kariyoshi kwa rolo ho ngela ho kwibi ho kire muri muri ba ri nali ya serikali ko ratsa ma shekho nyalitsa ta eh i issue ya insurance kwanza kwangu mimi haifai kuwe kwa sababu mimi nikinua pikipiki yangu ya Honda nilinua 2016 na nikaekewa insurance wakaniambia inaitwa comprehensive inasimamia pikipiki yenyewe ikipata ajali 
driver ikiwa ni mimi na abiria lakini tangu nipata ajali hakuna chochote nimepata kwa insurance so insurance ni za uongo na hizo vitu naomba serikali iangalie kabisa hizo vitu hazitusaidii kabisa kwa vyovyote vile ziko lakini hazisaidii kabisa mwanzo sana kwa pikipiki pikipiki ukipata ajali hakuna kabisa wa kushughulikia ni tumedharauliwa watu wa pikipiki baada ya insurance kwa pikipiki wangeangalia manake pikipiki zikiletwa kulikuwa na finance minister wakati huo alikuwa ni rais Rais Kinyata ndiye alikuwa finance minister wakati huo. Kwa hivyo akaleta pikipiki na akatoa ushuru at least isaidie vijana. Sasa hii jambo ya pikipiki kwa kio insurance mzito na ushuru kuelekezwa hapo mingi ni kama kutumaliza. Sasa tungeliomba Akulinde nimbo no mwanzi kuba muham Kenya ulili malomo wa mihuru Kenyata kwa kulombango kuitokonya babuha okunyolets kasi. There is need for partnership who recognize that this is a group that we need to focus upon and are also putting their resources, their skills into this. And if we succeed, there is need for partnership who recognize that this is a group that we need to focus upon and are also putting their resources, their skills into this and if we succeed in this i believe that the future of africa which is our youth is not only bright but can actually turn our continent not just kenya our continent to become a true world leader in innovation and become a continent of hope rather than how we are described today as a continent of despair and darkness. We don't want to be that way. Invest in our young people and we become a continent of hope, of dignity, of light and of prosperity. project food security, Sheila Kwatawe. A project in Galana that has spent 6.2 billion, and yet yeah, we have not gone far. The year we have been making losses, but this year the season we are doing it as government with the proper supervision, we are going to make a breakthrough. <laughs> file hii nae mimi ni katibu wa kitaifa wa vuguvugu la wadhiriwa wa ndani kwa ndani National IDP Network leo ni siku ya kusherekea eh, ni siku ya wakimbizi eh, duniani na sisi kama wananchi wa Kenya na mimi kama mwakilishi wa IDP katika jamhuri ya Kenya ningependa kusema mambo machache kwanza ningependa kusema ya kwamba sisi kama inchi tumefaulu kwa sababu tulipata sheria mwaka 2012 tulipata sheria prevention protection and assistance to internally displaced persons and affected communities act of 2012 ambaye sasa ilipea serikali mtazamo huu mpya kulingana na jinsi ambavyo mambo ya waadhiriwa inatakikana ku, 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 kufanywa jambo la pili ni kwamba eh, serikali yetu imekuwa ikijaribu kufanya mambo ya resettlement katika nchi yetu na tuna mambo mengi ambayo serikali imefanya. Kufikia sasa ile tunasema e, sisi kama waadhiriwa ni kwamba utekelezaji ya hiyo sheria ambayo tuko nayo. Kwa sababu tuko na sheria yetu kama vile nchi zingine. Uganda walikuwa na sheria mwaka na nne wako na disaster policy, sisi tumekuwa na IDP Act ambayo iko pamoja na kanuni za kimataifa e, ya wakimbizi wa ndani kwa ndani. Kwa hivyo tungependa kusema kwamba licha ya kwamba Uh, tunasherekea ya, ya siku ya wakimbizi lakini kuna kitu ambacho tunataka kupitisha kwa serikali kwamba sheria zetu ambazo ziliundwa na bunge ili kutetea waadhiriwa hazijaanza kutekelezwa vizivyo vilivyo hivyo haijatoa nafasi ya serikali kuingilia hilo jambo kikamilifu na kutoa eh, eh, suluhu kwa waadhiriwa wote ambao wameadhiriwa katika nchi 
na hii hilo ndio jambo ambalo ningependa kusema eh, serikali yetu tunaposherekea siku hii serikali yetu iangalie hiyo sheria itekeleze ili sulu iweze kupatikana kwa wananchi ambao walipatwa na janga la uadhiriwa akutia mukao salama ni bo eshika shokutia ne na bo eno bo bo mukene shilangi sia kume to ko buya ngo mu bibo he vieti mbeka tia malindi lokubera aba bo he ba be abanji here to personally address myself to that reality and uh, wish to inform you that uh, we are put in place uh, uh, plans, very feasible plans to uh, expand this facility. Uh, first of all, considering that uh, uh, the catchment area that uh, it serves, there are so many uh, quotes that it, uh, it serves. Sometime in 1974, and uh, by the time it was uh, uh, built, in the number of courts that were around here giving their sent custodial sentences, I think it was just one. But now we've got, about, uh, we've got six courts spread all over the region. Similarly, uh, we transfer our inmates from other prisons to this prison. That's one way of managing uh, the inmates that uh, we, we take care of. Le <laughs> <laughs>